first section of this, I just address some general issues about EUC collections at 54 percent of them are three years plus in aging. Uh, that the Fair, Fair Debt Act really applies to the, uh, the debt service collector and uh, not, not to associations. So that gives you some leeway to, to continue to collect on accounts when they go past the statute of limitations. Uh, we have a, we've actually made some inroads in our collections. One of this, we've done this in-house uh, since this uh, figure which appeared last last month in the financials, 123,000. Uh, has been reduced to 18, 118,000. So we've had about $5,000 in uh, recent collections. So we're moving forward on that. Uh, the proposal here uh, is for a collection agency. Uh, our legal firm that is handling our current collections we spoke about earlier is not interested in pursuing these accounts because they're utility accounts and uh, they're not assessment accounts. Uh, so we've had to go outside looking for other, other sources. Uh, my recommendation is that we go with a firm called Account Management Systems. Uh, I've checked their references. They have very good references. They also are quite interesting in the references are uh, all over the world, all over the U.S. <coughs> and uh, they had long-standing uh, relations with the companies that I did speak to. Uh, they've been in business since 1999. They offer a 35% contingency fee for all accounts that are greater than $350. And a substantial portion of the EUC, not substantial, but in number, not in, not in total dollars, uh, are accounts that are less than 350. Uh, I would recommend that the uh, board uh, approve this proposal and that uh, we contract directly with them. There is very little risk for the association uh, that we could bail out after 90 days after placing the uh, accounts with them if there are no collections. Uh, there are no costs until uh, you know, it's strictly on a contingency basis, so I think there are a lot of pluses. Uh, it does diminish the risk for the association in that they, are there. they assume the risk of collections. Uh, and there are a lot of risks in that. Uh, there are even risks uh, uh, for, for lawyers, and uh, uh, our RBD was sued in 06 for Fair Debt Act violations. And uh, we've had some liens filed incorrectly, which exposes us. Uh, so it is a it really does require um, a lot of, of a lot of knowledge in this. Um, I would ask the board uh, approve the proposals presented by Account Management Systems to provide uh, debtor collection services for just the EUC accounts uh, on, based on a 35 percent contingency basis. Discussion? Questions? Yeah. Uh, Ray, do we know what what's at stake, how much of the uh, $118,000 is, it falls into that category of greater than $350? And less than five years old? Yeah, less than. Not though. But it's still, you wouldn't want to pursue those accounts except in a house anyway, you do the amount. So, you know, but I don't have a figure for the for example. Okay. No, I'm thinking the ones that, the ones that would go to the agents, the agency. We have 116 accounts total, so I don't know what portion of that represents less than 350. Okay. That's your question. It would, well, it would well, be helpful to, to know the dollar amount that we're talking about referring to the debt collection agency so we can see what our potential return is. Mm -hmm. So I would say it would, be, it would be worth looking at those accounts and seeing which ones are potentially collectible. So we know what Why portion of $118,000 we're actually talking about here. Mm -hmm. But I don't see where we have anything to lose um, if they are willing to handle it on a contingency. I just would like to know how much we're talking about in terms of that. Yeah, it's very easy. Yeah. Uh, I was just going to say that 
that regardless of what money, this is the only way we're going to get it. So we're not going to get it very easily. So again, being on a contingent basis, there's no risk to us at all. So whatever we get, I think we have to see to do it. Ray certainly could bring us what the number is to pay us in, but I would be close to know the full number of proving forwards over to wait for that number. Was that a motion? That's not really a motion. Like Would you like to make a motion? Like sure. kind of I make a motion that we approve the proceeding with the company manager's services. Okay. Second. 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 At the next board meeting of the amount, not pending, but that we also get a report at the next board meeting of the amount that we're talking about potentially collecting. Okay, Joanne, you have two options here. You can ask the original movement to amend his motion. Um, yeah. And you agree to amend your motion. Okay, you succeeded then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the motion now reads, Pat? Ken's going to read it for us, I think. Okay. Uh, we're going to proceed with the uh, account management system for the uh, LHUC collectibles and uh, we will have at uh, the December meeting a indication of how much <coughs> is in the category of greater than $350. Does that satisfy? Question for Ray. You mentioned 116 accounts, right? I'm not. I'm not looking for exact numbers here. But that 116,000 is that less than five years, less than three years? Is that part of the 57 grand I'm looking at? 54 percent is is uh, greater than. I think I said. 54 percent of the total balance. The yeah. Balance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So 66,000. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at the number. All right. Okay. All right. Of the 116 accounts, half of them less than 300 bucks. They're all over the place. I mean, we have, we have. Uh, Something like I think 10 percent uh, under under 20 dollars represented 13 percent something. So okay. the numbers are there. They're locked. You have a, what I'm saying is that you have many accounts that are, uh, have small balances. You have some with very large balances. To make up that. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Well, um, the motion that Ken just read uh, said. Um, that we would want a report of accounts over 350. It didn't mention um, fewer than five years of age, and I think that didn't you say that, Joanne? It's very easy to do. If you want three, yeah. five years. The ones that are collectible. Yes. Yeah. They're all collectible to some degree. I mean, we're not mm -hmm. not in, uh, restricted by the statute. Can I ask the original movement movement? to amend his motion further sure. to say that we approve the account management systems as our collection agency and that the general manager will provide a detailed report of, of all of the accounts that are being sent to account management systems and a monthly report thereafter of the status of those accounts. What you said, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's what he said. Of course. Oh, it's better every time. Oh, yeah. Would you amend your motion to state that? I'm not going to read it over again. Ken has a camera. Yes. Your arcs will account to five years past the one you're coming. Yeah. 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 Yeah.